Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Beeline to Victory podcast. I know I was not able to do podcasts last week, and I apologize for that, but we'll cover everything that's gone on in Michigan basketball over the past week. Um, first, I want to congratulate Brandon Graham and the Philadelphia Eagles on winning the Super Bowl, and we hope Philadelphia is still in one piece after their parade. So tonight against uh, Northwestern, early in the game, Isaiah Levers went out with an injury. Um, we don't have a lot of information at this point, but twisted his ankle, and he did not play the rest of the game. To me, this is a this is a big warning sign. Um, if he didn't come back and play the rest of the game, there's there's going to be a problem. Uh, there might be a problem there. So we'll hope for the best. Um, today we'll recap games against uh, the the home game against Northwestern and Minnesota, um, the road game they played tonight against Northwestern, and the game upcoming against Wisconsin. So last week, uh, this is a pretty good win against Northwestern. Uh, 58-47, Northwestern is a pretty good defensive team. We only put up 58 points, but we held them to 47 because they're not a very good offensive team. That was the important thing in that game. Um, there wasn't really, I mean, Matthews played pretty well in this game, but this wasn't this wasn't a big standout game. This is another one of those midseason games you just got to go and win, and we did just that. So I wasn't really, there's not much really to say about this game, but just a good win. Taking care of business. They did a good job. Uh, this one was a thriller, this game against Minnesota. Um, end of regulation, tie game, or Michigan up three, Abdur Rahman at the free throw line to ice it, he misses two free throws, which is absolutely unacceptable, that cannot happen, Minnesota goes down, makes three, we're going overtime, but Abdur Rahman makes up for it, and a game winning and one, with three seconds left in overtime, and this was, this was a very good win. Minnesota is a pretty good team, and we had, a, we had to grind this one out, and this showed a lot of grit from this team after looking like they had it locked up in regulation to go into overtime and win this game at home in front of the home fans. This was a good win, and I expect more, from, I expect more wins like this. This team is not going to go and blow out a lot of teams, especially in the Big Ten. There's a lot of teams that are decent, like Minnesota, like Northwestern, like Nebraska. But they have, as long as they hang around in games, they should be able. They will usually win at the end. They're very good at closing out games, and they learned their lesson this year against Ohio State when they blew that lead. That closing out games is the most. It might be the most important part of having a good college basketball team. So I was really impressed with this. Uh, Abdul Rahman was fantastic again. He's been playing very well. All right, uh, this was a gut punch here tonight. They played at Northwestern and lost by nine, 61 to 52. They led by three at halftime and uh, got off to a very fast start offensively. Livers rolled his ankle early in the first half. Uh, Wagner had a very good game. He played very well. Abdurrahman was played pretty well. Other than that, Nobody played well. Uh, they shot horribly from the three-point line. Charles Matthews is nowhere to be found. Um, they just didn't play well at all. You, It's one thing to score 52 against Northwestern, who's a decent defensive team, but how do you let them get 61 points on you? Bryant McIntosh looked like uh, Trey Young out there. I mean, that's absolutely ridiculous. That cannot happen. These are the losses that cannot happen. I honestly hope... No matter what happens on Sunday against Wisconsin, I honestly hope they drop us out of the rankings. This is a disgusting loss. Absolutely awful. Cannot happen, these losses. I predicted them to lose seven games a couple weeks ago, so that would require them to win out. They have a tough one against Ohio State. they got to play at Maryland. Other than that, they should not have any issues at all. Um, I, I don't even... I don't see them 
losing more than eight games. I think they lose one game probably now by the end of the season, my new prediction. And probably The game's probably at Maryland. That's a tough team, tough place to play. But th- these losses cannot happen. I absolutely cannot happen. Okay, um, Sunday, we'll play at Wisconsin. Wisconsin is not a good team. The bottom line, not a good team. This is one where you just got to go out there and you have to take care of business. Bottom line, go out and take care of business. This is a good game for guys off the bench to get their rhythm back. Jordan Poole did not play well tonight. But if he can get his rhythm back against Wisconsin, that could be important moving forward. Um, this this is an important game for us to get our mojo back after a very tough loss tonight at Northwestern. Uh, they can't go in there and take Wisconsin lightly, though, like they did tonight. Um, they'll burn you if you do that. They have a good player in Ethan Happ, and that's all you need to win to take one game. So they need to go in there, take care of business, and win the game. Should not be an issue, but who knows? And we'll see where they're ranked next week. Uh, my gut tells me they'll be 24, 25. I don't think they should be ranked, but I mean, is what it is. I'll, I'll be happy if they're ranked, but we'll see. They did good. They did. They were 25, went 0 and 1, lost to Purdue, and moved to 24. So people voting for the poll like us a lot, but uh, we'll see what happens. I don't think necessarily that. Any team is better than us, but I think those teams are more consistent. Might be coming up and want to be ranked. Team like TCU, they've lost a few. They've lost a few tough games, but they they're always consistently competing in a really really tough conference in the Big Twelve. And I didn't. They Michigan could not compete with Northwestern in the second half tonight, and they didn't compete with Nebraska, who is a just not a good, not as good of a team. Nebraska might make the tournament, but they're not as good as Michigan, and that's just an obvious statement. Um, but yeah, this is this needs to be a bounce back game, and I think it will be. Wisconsin lost a lot of guys last year, so if they slow down Ethan Happ, they slow down Wisconsin. It is a tough place to play, though, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully, they can get a win. All right. Uh, right now, Michigan State is playing Iowa, and uh, this is a game I expect Michigan State to win, but if you guys are watching this, maybe tune in, and hopefully Iowa can get a win. Iowa's only down eight, um, getting close to halftime, so hopefully Iowa can get a win in that one, but uh, other than that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll be back on Friday with another podcast.